Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Whiskey, whiskey, we're gonna do whiskey. It's usually post on Wednesday, all right? I like the W's, Whiskey Wednesday. Today, let's get right into it. Four Roses Single Barrel. Yeah, uh, come on, come on little baby. There you go. All right, Four Roses Single Barrel. ABV 50%, it's 100 proof. Uh, let me see. There's no age statement on this, but it's at least eight years old. All right, they, they uh, age it at least eight years. Four Roses has ten uh, different recipes for their bourbons. This one here is a high rye recipe or mash bill. That's how you say recipe. It's 60% corn, which it has to be at least 50%, right, to be bourbon. It's 35% rye, this is their high rye mash bill, and 5% malted barley. And the yeast strain they use, they have different yeast strains, is, uh, it's called the V strain, that's not important. But what is important is it's, uh, um, let me see, creamy, light, and fruity. That's how they describe their, uh, this strain here. So I'm excited to, uh, of course, I'm excited to try that. I'm trying to open this. This has a plastic. There it is. Very hard. So I'm just reading some notes on this uh, that I took that I thought would be interesting. So basically, that's it. Um, single barrel like this uh, will vary from barrel to barrel uh, slightly. It's not like it's a blend where they mix it together and try and keep a consistent uh, taste. This is what comes out of the barrel, and it could change from barrel to barrel. Somewhat. I mean, the recipe is what it is, but it does change from barrel to barrel. So I finally got the plastic off. It's a wood top with a nice little cork. All right, so let's see what kind of smells we got out of this bad boy. Look at that nice apricot. Can you see it? Yeah, look how clear that is. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Let's just let that let's not open up a little bit. Get a little alcohol. Uh, burn. Which will, which will uh, go off. You know, it's 100 proof. Mm, I can smell the wood. Slide out for a second. All right, let's let it just let it air out for a second. So, um, it's a nice bottle. Look at it. It's got um, embossed with four roses in the glass, and it's got the four roses, uh, nice color on the label, and unique um, shape to it. And even the big one's the exact same way. All right, so. We're getting the almost obligatory on bourbon sweet smell. Now, generally, that's going to be honey, brown sugar, maple syrup. Let me see what exactly this more resembles. I think it's more of a brown sugar uh, smell. Almost like a slightly cooked brown sugar. And it's got a nice... Um, like dried fruit character to it. Maybe a little. It's like a like peppers. Fresh peppers from the garden. Peppers. I, I, I garden a lot. I bring the peppers in. I cut them up for different things. I grow all kinds of peppers and this kind of has a spicy type peppery, but not like black pepper, white pepper, like fresh pepper smell. Kind of pleasant. Oh. 
Wow. Tastes way better than it smells even. It's got like a fighting it out. It's like a more now like a brown sugar maple syrup thing with the yolk. It's, it's good. It's like if you stuck a, a, mm, a popsicle stick in maple syrup and kind of sucked on it. You get a little bit of that wood and a little bit of that and the maple syrup and it's almost like a 50-50 thing going on. Even now that I'm done, it's a pleasant uh, sweet taste to it, which is odd. It's got a little bite to it at 100 proof. It does have a little bite, but nothing too crazy. You know what shocks me? The fact that this is their high rye. And if you think of grains and you think of bread, sourdough, right that yeast strain is sour the grain in rye bread you've eaten rye bread what it tastes like it's got that bite it's got that certain taste white bread pumpernickel bread we you know whole grain all these breads have different flavors. anyway so I, I thought with this rye just like the bread it would be a little more spicy and a little more but it's not it's like on the sweet side like it'd be a high corn almost kind of odd like I say the wood comes through the sweetness comes through. No fruit I'm getting out of this. Again, dried, but like a like a prune and maybe some some dried dark black cherries and prune so if I sat here longer this would change some more um, but you know I gotta cut this interview it's a beauty of the whiskey to sit here and relax and let it open up and, and sit here as the, the flavors change but those are the initial ones you're gonna get this four roses uh, single barrel at 100 proof 50 ABV is is good it's very good uh, the woods not as strong as you would think with a minimum of eight years um, aged it's not as spicy as I would think uh, with the high rye now the smell had the peppers there's more fruit and sweetness on the taste with the oak the aftertaste now as I'm talking is uh, like um, like you ate something hot and spicy I guess it's the alcohol maybe and it's lingering on the tongue and coming up on the finish uh, a spicy peppery um, finish I have enjoyed this I like this look I have this much left to sip and enjoy and I'm going to this is the perfect size so everybody thank you for watching four roses single barrel very good I enjoyed it thank you